there are two main things you need for a computer hardware and software and a lot of these things on these lists are optional so don't think you have to buy everything but when you're designing a new computer and building it these are the basic things you need you need a computer case to actually store the motherboard and other stuff in it some people prefer to have an open system which is kind of risky because it's a lot more prone to damage and your computer might not last as long depends on your set it up you need a motherboard which is basically the main part of your computer you need a hard drive that's where you store all your data a CD DVD reader where that just basically reads your CDs and DVDs and lets you use CDs and DVDs a graphics card which lets you view everything on your screen a power supply to power your computer memory mouse and keyboard a lot of people actually have mice and keyboards just laying around so if you have some of them then you can just use those you don't need to go buying new ones I'll show you a couple of mice and keyboards that are pretty good though and also software um, there's different types of software there's Windows, Linux, and Apple most people are familiar with Windows if you're familiar with it and you don't want to switch uh, you can get XP or Vista they're both very good they have their strengths and weaknesses it's basically a preference right now if you want to get up to date get Vista it's your choice what happens is when you build your own computer you can actually get Vista half off so that's a very good deal instead of just paying 400 bucks for it you can get it for 200 for Vista Ultimate and if you want to get your software for free you can get Linux uh, which is Ubuntu is the most commonly used form of Linux and it's free and it can basically do everything Windows can but it's just not as good for gaming so it's up to you the best way to buy all these things is online through newegg.com which is spelled n-e-w-e-g-g -G dot com and you just type that in and go there newegg basically specialized in selling bulk computer parts and software and stuff like that so they have a number of tabs as you can see browse computer hardware and you can get a lot of your hardware right here so just you look up the things I showed you in before like the computer case motherboard uh, different parts should run different amounts for instance the computer cases may will run from anywhere from fifty dollars to a hundred and something and I'd suggest getting a cheap case the cases are really useless and it's really not useful getting a two hundred dollar case if it's not going to do anything so if you look around you can find a good deal for instance right here uh, 50 bucks you get a power supply and you get a keyboard which is a very good deal uh, for motherboard motherboards are very important they're one of the key things of a computer if you go under here motherboard personally I got the N4 680i which is a very good motherboard if you look around you may find, find one you want more but I'd suggest going with something like an N4 they are very good at tweaking it, so if you want to overclock your memory or anything like that, you could just stop do that. So Enforce 680i SLA. Whoops, yeah, SLI. So I typed that wrong. And I'd recommend one of the Enforces, as I said before. The one I have is by EVGA. Right now they have another one called Enforce 780i. That's slightly better. You might want to get that one. So as you can see it's pretty good supports 8 gigs and that's what I have you also need a hard drive I would recommend getting not spending too much on a hard drive look at the different hard drives right now seventy dollars for about 250 gigs is a good deal so it might be a good idea to get something like that right here seventy bucks you want to get at minimum a 7200 rpm hard drive with at least 16 megabyte cache that's good and also what you need to get as a CD reader, also known as a CD DVD burner, and also I don't recommend you spend that much on a CD burner. You can spend anywhere from thirty to eight uh, fifty. I recommend spending about thirty. So as you can see right here, just look at the different values. Some of them are eight times DVD burning. You really don't want that. It's pretty slow. So so just look at them. Um, there's one around here that's thirty. Right here, twenty. 16 and 2. That's pretty good. So if you just look around, also look at the ratings. If a lot of people rate it good, might be a good one to get. If everyone rates it bad, don't get it. Also, what we need is you need a graphics card, which a graphics card is one of the more important things you can buy. So I'd recommend spending a little bit extra money on a graphics card. It depends. Got it. Can't find it. There it is. Uh, for the 
motherboard I showed you, you actually don't need a sound card, so you don't need to worry about getting a sound card. There is right now the GeForce 8800 is one of the best ones out. There's also the GeForce 9200, which is a little bit it's, a, it's 70 bucks cheaper, and it's not not much worse. So that's probably be a better idea to get the 9200. Uh, so right now the 8800 and the 9200 are really good deals. They will cost around anywhere from 200 to 260 dollars. So be prepared to pay a lot of money for that. Also the power supply, which I you may need to buy. You can just look around it. It's right around here. Power supply, and for the case I showed you, for some cases, a lot of them come with power supplies. So if you just pick a good case, a cheap case, and you get a power supply. Also, you need to need memory. To get memory, I'd recommend you go to crucial.com, spelled C-R-U-C-I-A-L.com. It's under the video information if you didn't catch it. And Crucial basically specializes memory, so you can scan your computer and see what memory you need, or you can check it by computer. So, for instance, if you buy from uh, like Dell or anything, you can just select it. So, in this case, you need to select the manufacturer of the motherboard you own. So, in my case, I showed you an EVGA. So you just look around here for EVGA, and then select it. Step three, you'd select the actual motherboard you have. So after you select that, you'd hit next, or find it. And this will show you a bunch of memory. I'd recommend getting a kit that has a 2 gig stick right here. This has 2 gig stick. And right underneath it, it has the code. If you just copy that, it says it's $96, which is pretty good. And if you paste it in new egg, you'll find the exact same memory. This is ten dollars cheaper than in Crucial, and you can buy the memory. That's you can find memory. Uh, there are two other parts you can get: a mouse and a keyboard. This is really optional. You don't need a mouse and a keyboard. A lot of people have them lying around. But if you want to get a really high-end keyboard or mouse, I'd recommend you go to Razorzone.com. R A Z E R Z O N E dot com. That link is also under the video information. And under products, gaming mice. They, their mice and keyboards are very expensive, but they're also top of the line. Nothing's better than these, I think. I have a Razer, and it's ultra fast, ultra precise. And I think it's a very good mouse overall. And if you just look at technical specifications, you can pay anywhere from 40 to 100 on the mice. So it depends what you want. If you look at the technical specifications, this one has. 1600 DPI. Some of them have up to 4000. Basically, the better, higher the DPI, the more precise it is. You also have keyboards. The keyboard is also very good. You can program macros. They light up so you can see them when it's a little bit darker. And it's ultra responsive, like the mice. They're very quick. They have a one millisecond response time, which is twice as quick as most keyboards around now. And lastly, this may be optional depending if you have some software lying around but you'll need to get some operating system software you can get Linux at Ubuntu.com just google Ubuntu U-B-U-N-T-U dot com and when you're under Newegg what you want to get is a systems builder pack so it depends what you're going to get if you're going to get like Windows Vista depends what you want it's half off when you get a systems builder pack so you can get XP or whatever and basically just choose from that and it depends 64 bit it depends on the processor you have so if you have a good processor 64 bit you want to get a 64 bit operating system it has to be the same thing and I forgot to mention this before but you need a processor um, right now Intel has a better processors and this depends on preference once again if you want to pay a lot of money thousand bucks for a processor why not but right now, the, the quad core 6600 is a very good buy. It's only, actually, they're even better. They have the du Core Duo 6850, which is only $270 for a 3.0 gigahertz processor. That's a very good deal. So it depends because the 6600 does have a better cache, but it has less of gigahertz so it depends on your preference whatever you want either either one of them is a good deal and that's basically it if you get all these parts then you can you'll be ready to build your computer in my next video then I'll show you how to 
put your computer together. <laughs>